What is up guys, my name is Vikun Styles and 2 here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys the after patch to the Cold War Operator glitch in Modern Warfare. Now if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, this is a glitch in which you guys are able to use Cold War Operators in multiplayer. You can see them in game, everyone else can, your friends can as well. But unfortunately for Vanguard Operators, I believe you can really only see them in the lobby, it won't be usable in game, so unfortunately that is a downside. But right before we get into the video, let me actually give you guys a word from my sponsor. If you guys were wondering how I got Dark Aether and Plague Diamond instantly unlocked, I actually got it done through a service in which you guys can get the same done through Diamond Resupply. Click the link in the description below and use code Vakuna to get 10% off your order on things such as Instant Dark Aether Unlocked, Custom Prestige, Max Ethereum Crystals, and DM Ultra put on your own account. Now this is a trusted service that is unbannable, doesn't require any login info, and takes about 5-10 to 10 minutes of your time, and then you're done. If you have any questions, join their Discord which is linked on their website. And now back to the video. Moving on to the requirements for this glitch, they are quite simple, make sure you do have a friend to help you, and keep in mind this only works on console, this does not work on PC unfortunately, and make sure that you and your friend are on the same brand console. This will not work if your friend is on PlayStation and you're on Xbox and vice versa, it has to be PlayStation and PlayStation and Xbox on Xbox. The next requirement is for you and your friend to have co-op installed on both you and your friend's console, so make sure you both have spec ops installed in co-op. And finally, the last and final requirement is for you to actually have a mouse plugged into your console. Once you have everything set, let's go ahead and get right into the glitch. Now to start this entire glitch off, get yourself in a warzone lobby, and go ahead and go to the operator section. Now you want to make sure you have your mouse connected into your console and go to your operators and hover over any operator that you want to use for this glitch to swap over into Modern Warfare. Now make sure that you do not have it selected already in Warzone, so I'm going to be using Bulldozer. Then you want to tell your friend to get himself in a co-op lobby, but make sure he doesn't start the game mode yet and tell him to send you an invite. Once you do receive that invite, you're going to use your mouse hovering over the operator and hold down the left clicker while hovering over the operator with your mouse. It is extremely important that you have your finger held on the left clicker, otherwise this glitch isn't going to work. Now using your other hand, you're going to go ahead and use your controller and open up the console notifications. You're going to see your friend's invite and make sure to only use the console notification invite. Do not join him in game. And before you do join him, you're going to tell your friend to search for any Spec Ops game mode. And as soon as he's placed in that searching lobby, you're going to go ahead and join him using your controller. And make sure to pay attention to what it says on the bottom. It's going to say joining game session and then loading assets. And the second, as soon as you see it say joining game session again, you're going to go ahead and hit circle on your PlayStation or B if you're on Xbox. You're going to go ahead and back out of that invite. And then once you back out of the invite, you can go ahead and let go on your left clicker. And as soon as you do that, you guys are going to notice once you go to your operators, you just officially put in a Cold War operator or Vanguard operator in Modern Warfare. It's pretty simple just like that. It doesn't really require any hard timing, no spamming or anything as much as everyone would hate to do that. So thankfully, this is a great method found by Glitch Hunters. Be sure to go check him out. I'll leave his link in the description below. Now, unfortunately, there is a downside to this glitch. For some apparent reason, no matter what kind of side you choose, whether it's Allegiance or Coalition, it's always going to be swapped into Coalition for some reason. It will not swap into Allegiance. I cannot find a way on how to do that, but if you guys do, please let me know in the comment section below. If any of you guys don't have a friend to help you with this glitch, be sure to leave your Activision ID and console in the comment section below as well. And yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for the video. Vukun 2002, signing out.